Hello brothers and sisters of the interwebs, this is Steel Phoenix here, and welcome to another Theory Thursday. This theory is another theory from the Branwen family, and this one is on Crow. I originally saw this one while on iFunny, it was posted by a person that goes by the name Nagisa the Assassin, with underscores between each name. And I'm just going to get right into his theory. I'm going to start off with his, and then I'm going to go with a couple bits of extra evidence that may support this. So his theory basically goes, it's actually Crow who's Ruby's father. When Taiyang and Raven got together, Summer and Crow did too. Yang being too young to remember at the time just remembers being told one day that she has a new sister. That's because right around the time Crow got Summer pregnant, he was sent on a long mission and for a time was presumed dead. When he turned back up one day, it was too late to tell Ruby who her father really was. This led to him taking on the uncle role. Think about it. Take Taiyang and Raven mixed together and it's extremely easy to see Yang as a child. Ruby on the other hand bears no resemblance to Taiyang but looks much sh like her mother and who? Crow. That's who. Now I kind of like this one. I'm not entirely sure that she looks a whole lot like Crow, but she does behave a lot like him. And the idea of the reason that he became the uncle being that he went on a long mission and then came back and it was too late to tell her when he finally did return actually works quite well with the theory. Because we all know that he's been working with Ozpin and he's had to keep an eye on the maidens and whatnot throughout the whole time that he's been in Ozpin's group, and we know that he's been in Ozpin's group for quite a while, based on the way that they were talking in Volume 3. How Oz referred to him as an old acquaintance. Not just an acquaintance or something, just an, an old friend. But let me get into some more of my other examples that su kind of support this theory. The first one is that Ruby has the last name Rose, like her mother, instead of Zhao Long, like her sister, and Zhao Long is actually her father's name. Yang doesn't have Branwen as her last name, so why wouldn't Ruby have Zhao Long as her last name as well, other than the part that it's chosen by the writer and whatnot. Which I did question a bit after putting some thought into this theory. So if only one of her parents was thought to be alive, whose name would she wind up keeping with? She'd keep it with the living parent. And they can't exactly call her Ruby Branwen, otherwise then they'll be like, why am I named after my uncle? It's like, also, Ruby shares no similarities with Taiyang, having her dark hair and basically her build is quite far off from his. She's almost identical to her mother. That does make it a bit difficult to say that she's not actually Taiyang's daughter, but it also makes it a bit hard to say that she's for sure Crow's daughter in the theory because she looks almost exactly like her mother. Also, Taiyang never truly divorced Raven and thus would have technically been cheating on her when he had Ruby. And Raven would have had to leave quite early considering that Ruby's only two years younger Raven would have had to leave almost instantly after having Yang. Raven would have had to leave rather early after having Yang almost instantly in order for there to be time for him to accept her as never coming back. To For Taiyang to accept her as never coming back, I should correct. And then to move on to Summer in order to have Ruby with Summer considering Ruby is only two years younger than Yang, according to canon. I do think that it's a valid idea that Crow is Ruby's real father with all the evidence with 
him, her looking nothing and not taking any characteristics from Taeyang at all. Because then it would be Ruby took her looks from her mother, but she got her skill and weapon design basically from Crow, which is a very interesting thing considering the the females seem to look identical to their mothers anyway cuz Yang looks just like a blonde raven and Ruby is her mother basically reincarnated Yang actually does share the hair color with her father but Ruby shares nothing with her father at all. The only other dark-haired person that was on that team that is even close enough to have done anything like that is Crow. So overall, I think that this is quite a good theory on... And I kind of agree with it, but obviously until we're told directly as like being an actual reveal, we can't take it as canon. It's just a theory. But, all in all, I think it's a good theory. has some strong points to it. Obviously, we can't take it as anything more than just a theory until we're told in story, in canon, whether it be in the manga, which I don't know will, if it will be canon or not, considering I don't think it's Rooster Teeth overseeing the manga. But, that's all I have for this one. If you liked it, leave a like. If not, you can leave a dislike. Comment for any theories that you have that you want me to cover. And as usual, thank you. Have a nice day. This is Steel Phoenix, signing off.